Hey guys, Gordon here. Uh, this video today, I'm going to walk you guys through hooking up the Sun Gold 18,000 watt inverter we put in. It's going to be tied into the battery bank. Um, we're not tied in the solar yet because I don't have the solar panels up. They're redoing the roof as we speak. Um, so in this, guys, remember I'm not a licensed electrician. Go out and get help if you need some help with the electrical work. Um, hire a professional. Um, I do know what I'm doing, but don't do as I do. Um, be safe out there. Um, and hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and take uh, take subscribers anytime. Um, hey, let's get on with it right now. Okay, you guys, I'm hooking up the 4 out wire to the bottom of this 1800 inverter. And just so you know, you can undo these two screws that basically mount this up in here like that. So you can actually get in there and work on this because there's, once you get it on the wall, you definitely don't want to take it back off the wall. Once you get on the wall, it's impossible to see that. So that's why they have those so they can loosen them. Hook it up, but that is four out wire and it does fit in there, but that's about as big as you're gonna get. Alrighty, just wired in the commercial, wired in the inverter. We have um, that's doing something. So I have four out coming out of the commercial PG panel. Panel comes over, ties in. Out going out for out again into the sub panel. Sub panel has got two spots on top, on both sides left. Um, I have no power in that though, so why don't I have power in that? Uh, maybe these batteries got charged. It says I have no power from the grid. That's on, that's on. Okay. Okay, so I just had to push this button or flip this breaker. Now I have power, commercial power coming in. Uh, my load says 242 volts, 60 hertz. Um, but yet I have no panel, no power in this panel. And this was just heated up a second ago. And do I investigate that now? Okay, you gotta flip all those. The left side is input, the right sides are outputs. Left side's hot, and then the right side's hot on the little ones. So now we have power from the sub panel. Everything's up and running. Um, check to see if these batteries are charging, I guess. She's using 6% of power right now, it says. Okay, we're now on fast charge, charging these batteries. And I think I have it turned down to, uh, well, this one. I've got about a little dial up there. I think it's probably about 70%. And at 70%, we're pulling off commercial power 19 and 22. Plus, there's stuff in the house running, so see how long that takes to run. I don't have any solar panels up yet because we're redoing my roof right now as we talk. So, so we're see we're in bypass mode because the batteries are charging. See, so it's Got the arrows going the other way, right there on the battery. Going to the left means it's charging the batteries. So, well, we've got the first parts done. We're putting the solar up and uh, the panels up. Maybe next week when they get the roof done, and I have time. But yeah, I'm gonna have a few more experiments. Once these batteries are fully charged, so just how much stuff I can put on this sub panel because I'd love to put a hot water heater on there which you know I have it on a timer but there's um cadet heaters in there I'd like to move I've got two, right now I have two cadet heaters on the sub panel for um when we lose power and I can close up a couple rooms and actually get some heat plus we have a pellet stove so anyway okay I just turned the uh, dial up all the way for the the charger and now we are pulling 33 amps off of that side, and 
35 off of that, so it should be 33 and 33 probably, because there's 32 and 32, something in the house running. So that'd be 64 amps charging. Because up here, uh, we got 9 amps in the house going. So we actually have 14 amps in the house running. So we're not actually pulling that much for the charger. So the reds had nine and a quarter. So we take nine off 35, so that's about what 20, you know, let's call it 25. And then uh, <laughs> 32 minus five, so that's about 30, 28, so about 25 amps for the charger, I'm guessing. About 20 amps maybe. A full full blast. And they're saying that they are charging and they are well, I just picked up and this fan just kicked in. <laughs> See what it's pulling now. Still 35. I think the fans just kicked on because it's getting warm. Yep. Same. So, I'm liking it so far. All right, our batteries are charged. They're all full charge. So, right outside the roofers and compressors run right now. So, on the system, we have 16 amps, 17, 15, 16 amps on the black leg. That one has one amp. And out of our commercial power, 0.4 amp, 0.4 amp, which must just be the trickle charge for the batteries, maybe. I don't have my solar hook, the solar panels hooked up yet because the roof is obviously going up. So hey, it's working. I'd like to see if a uh, generator stops, that uh, compressor stops, if that's actually the, uh, what that does. <laughs> And closer, okay. House is up and running on the battery bank. Still waiting on the solar to get up on the roof. I think mounted. So, at the bottom of this, there's a PV input. But all the sketches I see means the solar panels are supposed to come into this, then out of this to the battery base bar, bus bar down here. But I'm going to bring them over to here because there's two of them. Bring them into this bus bar. That way, if I ever want to put in wind turbines or something else, I can have more stuff on the wall stationary and just have, I guess, two sets of wires come into the battery bank. I kind of screwed up there. But yeah, I'm not sure that PV input up there must be for smaller array. I don't know what I, but they say don't use it and all the little sketches I see. So this is the way I did it. I, mean, I could come right out of those, come right to the bus bar, but that'd be two more, that'd be three wires down here to the to the battery bank, I don't really want to do that. So I just will take it out of those and over to the bus bars and out of the bus bars down to the bank. And that just has to be four odd, it says. All of that, where I have two odd coming down feeding the inverter. But I guess all that just has to be four odd, which I have. So that's good to go. Howdy, guys. Dave's finally here. We got our delivery, got our solar panels, got our inverter. And as you probably know, some of our videos, inverter's up on the wall, battery pack is in place um and it's i hooked it up today and it's running it's charging batteries right now so we're not i don't have panels up yet because they're actually doing the roof as we speak you might hear banging but they're up on the roof right now tearing the old one off um so anyway i want to do a test on these in on these panels these are um, sun gold 550 watt panels and i did a little test here and i uh, hope you enjoy it please go up and give it a like and uh subscribe please thanks Alrighty. 550 watt solar panels as you can see we are totally in the shade right here and we are pulling 56 watts 46 volt so if you had five of these tied together that's 250 watts and not an ounce of sun on them just daylight now if I move this out in the sun let's see what we get okay so now I moved it so it's in the sun Pretty bright sun, a little bit of cloud there, but not a lot. And we're at 519, 49 volts. 
Pretty sweet. It's seven and a half feet tall and just under um, four feet. Three, uh, like three foot seven or three foot nine or something like that by seven and a half feet tall.